Dear students, I welcome you all again for another video session on VHDL code for T flip flop. Okay, dear students, we have seen few VHDL coding for JK flip flop, SR flip flop, counters, D flip flop, right? So today we will see how to write a coding for T flip flop. Okay, so students, as I've told you. We have to know the basic operation of T flip flop to start with, you know, writing the code for the T flip flop. So all of us know that T flip flop is the toggle flip flop, right? So the basic function of the T flip flop is to toggle the inputs. So let me write for you all the basic inputs and the outputs of the T flip flop. Okay. So we know that T is an input and clock will be a clock for the flip-flop and the output is Q, Q bar. Okay, so this is what is our T flip-flop and coming to the truth table, we have T and QN plus one. Let me write the output as QN plus one. Okay, so for the input, when T is equal to zero, you get the same input and when T is one, you get Q N bar, the complement of the input right so this is what is the basic you know operation of a toggle flip-flop correct so let us write the coding for vhdl now so dear students so we are quite familiar with uh, writing the vhdl code so let me start off with the initial i triple e std logic one one six four so entity here will be a T flip flop, right? So let me declare the port. So inside the port, as we know that we'll have to declare our inputs as well as the output. So T is our input here. So STD logic and clock is our input, right? And of course, clear or reset is our input and our output is so let me write this as q which is our output under the function std logic right so dear students I have included all my inputs as well as output so let me end this entity so i'm ending the entity t flip flop so the next is architecture behavioral of t flip flop is so dear students as we saw in the previous uh, coding of flip flops we have included signals right the temp signal so here again we'll include a temp signal okay under the std logic so let me begin the process as we know that to begin the process we have to have the essential factors the clock and the clear with which our entire program is dependent or the coding is dependent right so let us begin so if clear is one if our clear is one or say if a reset is activated then what happens our signal temp signal tends to be zero correct so whenever the reset or the clear is one activated our temp signal is going to be zero this we already know else if else if what happens if a clock event as we know that for the flip flop the clock event is very important the clock event and if the clock is equal to let me write like this is equal to one then what happens because my clocks my flip-flop starts working at the rising edge of clock right so that is why i'm giving that else if clock even ten clock is one then let me write the condition so what happens if t is equal to zero then we know that temp tends to be equal to temp itself right we saw that in the truth table whenever we have t is equal to zero we get the same output right 
and when t is equal to 1 we get the complement of whatever is rt or whatever is our input right so for the condition t is equal to 0 we have temp is equal to temp signal else if else if what happens when t the second condition when t is equal to 1 then what happens our temp signal tends to be not of temp right that is the complement of the input whatever we have given that is if it is 1 then we get a 0 over here right so that will be the end of the coding so wherever I have started the if statement I have to end so I have used end of and one other end of to you know wherever I begin the end of I am closing it then I am ending the process and finally the output signal which is equal to my temp signal correct and that ends my end behavioral dear students hope you have understood the vhl code for the t flip flop thank you